Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Also, happy Halloween! Today I'm so excited to share with you how I turned my dad into the Night King from Game of Thrones for Halloween. Begin with putting in your icy blue contacts as the eyes will water and that can ruin the makeup. I started with a pre-made bald cap and prosthetic piece that I will show you how to make in a later video. I applied the bald cap using Prose-Aid. It is a super strong medical grade adhesive, so it's sure not to fall off as you tear down walls and raise your army of the icy dead. Be sure to coat the face and the prosthetic with the glue, then place it on the face once both sides are dry. It works a lot like contact cement. Then add a bit more glue along the edges to secure it down. From there I took liquid latex and began blending the edges, as well as adding the icy wrinkles. Use a blow dryer to speed up the drying process, and use as many layers as you deem necessary. Next, I mixed dark blue Pax paint for the base layer. Pax is one part acrylic paint, one part prosade. Paint the entire face and any seams in the darkest blue, ensuring you get it deep in the wrinkles and the low points of the face. Once that layer is dry, mix a medium blue Pax paint and stipple it on with a dampened sponge. This will start to bring out the highlights and add dimension. Again, once dry, mix a pure white layer of Pax paint and again stipple it all over with a damp sponge. Be sure to blend all your edges to make it seamless. Lastly, you can go back with a small paintbrush and darken any low points with the dark blue and highlight any ridges with white. Once you're satisfied with your paint job, powder the model off very well with a pure white powder or baby powder, otherwise they will stick to everything. I also took water-based face paint and black eyeshadow to color the sensitive and hard to reach places like the eyes, ears, and nose. Lastly, using coal eyeliner, black eyeshadow, and a fluffy blending brush, blacken around the eyes. Be sure to blend all the way down into the neck and have the model hold their shirt away from their neck so that they are not glued permanently to their shirt. Lastly, make sure to purchase some super soles so that you can remove all the Pax paint once done without any harsh scrubbing or rubbing on your skin, making it raw and sensitive. Now you're done! Don your armor and have a blast terrorizing the Seven Kingdoms!